What's up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome back to another pottery video. So glad you can join me today. Today we're gonna turn this piece of clay into a gorgeous handmade piece of art that someone can use every single day. So we're gonna go through the throwing, the how you get those sweet textures in there. Can you see that? You see that texture? It's like, it's never gonna fall out of your hands. It's got this awesome texture to it, and then we got the sweet drips. So we're gonna go through it all. Go through the throwing, go through the glazing, and then join me, stay till the end, and I'll tell you what's going on over here. Let's do it, we'll see you in the studio. We are in the studio, so I am getting the clay ready right now. I'm actually recording a voiceover. So I'm getting the clay ready right now. I always get the clay ready and the balls are about a little less than one pound. So here we go, we're centering. Now we come down. How do you like this? How do you like me narrating what I'm doing? So I always, I always come down on the top to make it really flat on the top with that side of my hand. Then I go into the clay. And then we're gonna start pulling up, which I gotta do a video on pulling up the clay. But yeah, for this little amount of clay, you just need like one finger on the inside, one finger on the outside. We're pulling up. So we're just doing like a normal shaped mug. That texture and the drips will provide plenty of interest. So I don't really care about making a super interesting shape. So I got to the top, making sure I always smooth out that top lip with my sponge. Go up. This is probably the last time that I would go up because it's plenty thin right now. Then I wipe out all the bottom. Maybe I put a little spiral in there. And then I take that wood tool. I will kind of trim, pre-trim it. Usually sometimes that's the only trimming I do. Sometimes I will do more. Okay, and then here's the texture. So I take that tool and then I am just moving it up and it makes those grooves. So that tool is the same tool that I use to score things. So this is what that tool looks like. And it's a super useful tool either for scoring or for making these textures. So if you wanna check it out, there is a link in the description below to get this tool. So go grab one on there. Then I'll go around one more time around the top, make sure it's smooth. And that is it. All right, I'm gonna show you one more and then we're gonna get to glazing. So enjoy some music. Repetition, repetition, repetition. The more you can do things, the more you see things, the easier it's gonna be. Here we go. mugs that have been bisque. It's got that nice, that nice texture in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it into this cone six black glaze. So first we gotta, if you wanna see a glazing tutorial, you can find that in a different link around. Okay, so you can do this two ways. Both ways you're gonna need a big sponge like this. this. A sponge like this works really well. So we'll dip this down up to about here, and then right when we bring it up, we're gonna take as much of the glaze off with this sponge as we can, all right? So boom, boom, got the glaze on there, and then we're just gonna take this, we'll rub the bottom off too while we're doing that. Flip it over, and you can, if you let it dry and then rub it off, you can do that too. It just, it's easier to take the glaze off when it's still a little wet. All right, and then you can kind of decide what you want to do with the handle. If you want glaze on the handle, like I rubbed a little off there, so I'm just gonna dip it again. But you can decide if you want to rub it off or not. So like that. So then, we would take a different glaze and pour it in there. We could take black and pour it in, or we could take a different glaze and pour it in there as well. Okay. 
Another way that you could do it was also to be to take some tongs, and this is the way that you could get the inside glaze too in one step. So we would just dip it in, and then pull it out, and then we would also take our sponge for this, and then wipe off as much as possible. Which yeah, always start with a clean sponge. I didn't do that, and that makes it a lot harder. So if you have a clean sponge, that makes it way, way easier. But I like to get as much off as I can right away while it's still wet. That just eases, makes it easier for later. Now we have our second glaze that we're gonna apply. And so I haven't quite wiped it really clean yet just because I might as well wait till I'm all done so that I can clean it up really good right before I get put it in the kiln. So in this I'm just putting a little top layer just right around the top like that. And this, we do want it to drip a little bit, like a little drip is okay and I think looks good. But if it doesn't drip, we certainly want to lower our risk and not, like if we like glazed it all the way down to like here or here, then we'd probably get some super cool drips. But we just, I always think about the risk in like if we, the risk reward factor of how low do you want to go with how risky it is to ruin the pot. So for these, it's a pretty cool pot too and it, even if it doesn't drip that much, it's still gonna be a cool pot. So I'd rather not risk it too much. There are pots that I think like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get risky with this one. All right, and then this is gonna be the last, the last glaze. So we mix this buttercream up, gonna put a little on there and then I'll go through one more time and clean up everything really well and it definitely doesn't matter if there's any drips like this because I'll just go back through and get rid of those drips We did it! We turned a piece of mud, a piece of clay, into a beautiful handmade piece of art that someone's gonna love. Someone will love, and it's got this sweet texture. <sighs> anyway, all right, well I told you I was gonna tell you what's going on here, so let's talk about it. So we got the project studio. We got the studio project started. That's it, that's the foundation right there. They're digging that, they're gonna put a new concrete slab in, they're gonna pick up this garage, woo, move it, add a little room on the end there. So exciting. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Comment, like, tell me, what do you think of these mugs? Are you gonna try them out? Do you like the look of them? Do you hate the look of them? All the things. Check me out on Patreon if you wanna help out with the studio build. Thinking I'm uh, contemplating trying to like do a little Kickstarter campaign. Cause obviously uh, with any construction project, it uh, isn't as simple as it might have once seemed. Instagram, Twitter, I literally haven't been on Twitter in like four years. It would do no good to hit me up on Twitter. All right, that was the other thing I was gonna say. If you have messaged me on Instagram or sent me an email or something, I am really sorry if I haven't gotten back to you. It's just one of those things that like there's only so much time in the day and I wanna be making art and progressing my art and keeping up with the business and so I'm really good at responding to YouTube comments just because it's a really easy way I can sit down and just on my computer you know Instagram's a little hard because I, it's on my phone and I don't like like typing a bunch on my phone are we in focus but anyway so I apologize if I haven't gotten back to you uh, if you comment below on the YouTube I'll for sure see it if you otherwise hopefully I'll have a website and stuff hopefully you know someday I'll have more time to do pottery and stuff so all right, that's it. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.